Hello YouTube, Basin Truck here. What we've got in front of us is an Axial Cam pressure washer pump. I had someone let me borrow their pressure washer so I could clean some things, and knowing my luck, the pump blew up on me. This is the new Chinese unit, but here's the old unit. Slightly different style. What happened was the bolts that hold it together where the cam part is actually snapped and broke off things started sputing water, oil, it was a mess. So, first time I went to go use it. So yeah, lucky me. So instead of being a jerk, I'm gonna put a new pump on it for him. So when I give it back, it'll all work. So, let's get the old one out of here. Now if you'll notice, this is a slightly different style pump. This one mounts right under to directly to the engine underneath through the shaft, it seals. This one is a different style pump. The reason I'm going with this pump is it's quite a bit cheaper than buying this pump. They're both axial cam pumps. This one probably moves a little bit more water, but I've used ones like this. I think it'll be fine. So the problem with this pump is it's a Chinese pump, quality control from China. Yeah, we know that's gonna be good. It doesn't have a port to change the oil in it, and anything that comes with oil or grease from China, you should immediately change. They use beeswax for grease, their oil, I think they pour sand in it so it gets filled more. It's garbage. So always change oil or grease if you buy something from China if you want it to try to live. So since it doesn't have a drain port on it, a lot of these older ones will have a drain port. It's usually right here. So you have to pull the top off to get to the plungers so you can get to that port to drain the oil on it. This one does not have that. So I'm gonna have to pull it all completely apart and I'll show you guys. I mean, I've got an older one over here. So I can show you that port that I'm talking about. Right here. There's the port right there. It's a fill plug. This one doesn't have it. Now I used that other one I had laying around. I knew the seals were weak in it to test it out. To make sure the shaft and everything was good. I'll go over that with you guys later. It did work besides the fact, like I said, the seals were bad in it. It's really old. But the proof of concept was good. So we're going to pull this one apart get all this garbage Chinese stuff out and you guys can come along with me and watch. So first thing you need to do, you've got these three six millimeter bolts. Those have to come out first. All the bolts you're going to need to pull apart are six millimeter on one of these. I will put a link in the description. I bought it off Amazon. I don't think it was a lot of money. I know it was a little hundred bucks. I think I want to say it was like 50 bucks or something. I was wrong. It's 63, 63. Here's the Amazon listing. But I'll put a link in the description. I don't remember. But I'll show you guys. It got decent reviews. The biggest complaint was it just doesn't last very long. And I suspect what we're going to find is some really crappy oil in here causing the problem. But we'll find out together. Now this one, you might need an Allen to get in there because you might not be able to reach it if you have a little stubby like mine. So I did loosen this one up previous to the video, so I'll let you know, keeping it real. All right, so we're gonna get this last bolt out. Now there's gonna be three plungers in here. There's not gonna be any oil in it, but there will be three plungers, I believe, should be. Now you're gonna want it, it's tight. You're gonna wanna gently wiggle it up. There we go, see, there's your seals. There are your three plungers that run off the axial cam. So this part, I'm gonna just look at it real quick. It looks like they did run it before they sent it because there's water in here. I have not hooked this up. So it does look like they test them from the factory. Mmm, smells nice. Okay. So we don't need that part. That part's fine. This is the part we need. Now these axial cams are spring loaded just like a valve on a cylinder head in an engine. So if you lift these up, it will try to pop up on you. So I'm going to go grab some clamps real quick and just hold it down so I can pull them off and then let it go. You can do it. I don't know how long these screws are. I don't know if they'll come up enough before it pops up, but we'll clamp it down and then we'll release it. All right, we've got some four inch C clamps here. We'll wind them out, we'll clamp it down, and we'll pull this thing apart. Maybe I should open these before I started the video. Boring. All right, now this isn't gonna sit very flat, but that'll be all right. Make sure you get on that little lip under there. It doesn't have to be real tight. Don't scrape these, otherwise it'll tear the seal, the seals that they slide in. 
and you'll ruin your pump. So keep an eye out, try not to mess with those. Any machine surface you want to try to stay away from. Need another pair of hands. Alright, I've got it down. Let's start pulling this apart. Let me take this extension off. Get a little more torque going. This might be a little tight. Oh yeah, it's tight. It's going to be a lot tight. Alright, let me break these loose. I think they might have some Loctite on these. All right, We've got them all loose now. All right, we've got these all loose. Let's get these coming off. And we'll show you what's on the inside here. It's gonna be some oil, some bearing plates. It's gonna be a big angled piece that comes off the crankshaft of the engine that's angled, which is what makes these go up and down. Alright, there we go. See how that's sprung up there? Now, we can pull this out. Yeah, that really doesn't smell that good of gear oil. Does not smell that good, guys. Some people don't like the smell of gear oil, but I'm just... I know what gear oil smells like. It smells like a combination... I mean, look at how drippy that is. I mean, it smells like a combination of gear oil and water almost, but I know it's not water. Because it won't, it would mix in, it'd be all turned into a milkshake there. So they might cut this stuff with some sort of other oil, but it's definitely not that great of stuff. So we're gonna clean this all off. See, it's got the seal on there, o ring, a couple little tabs. All right, now I'll pull these parts out so you guys can see them. First, we've got is the plate here. Get some of this oil off. All right, now those cams, followers ride on that circle. Put this in front of them. They ride like that on there. So that goes there. So I can stack everything up for you guys. All right, next we're gonna have a bearing here. The bearing plate. It's gonna be two of them in here. I mean, look at that. Oh. That rides in there, and then we're gonna have another plate. All right, before I can pull this out, 
I'm gonna drain this oil out because otherwise it's all gonna dump on my towel. All right, I just drained most of the oil out. There actually was quite a bit of metal flake in this pump, in the oil already. Now normally that's not a big deal because you will have break in, things will wear together. But it definitely, having metal fragments in here doesn't help. If you really wanted this thing to last long, you'd probably want to change it again at some point. Now, here's the axial cam part. This is what makes it go up and down. When this spins, it pushes up and down all these different plungers. And that's what gives it your pressure there. Now that's the shaft that goes on your engine shaft right there. Then you're going to have another bearing that goes on the top of the housing. Then you've got the housing here, and that's what's in there. And then we have it, see? That's what we got. There's our pump. So now I'm going to clean this up a little more. Then I'm going to reassemble it, and we're going to put some new gear oil in there. Click the link for the next part of the series. And don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.